the Sovereign Military Hospital or Order of St. John of Jerusalem of Rhodes and of Malta, also known as the Sovereign Military Order of Malta. Order of Malta, is a Roman Catholic lay religious order traditionally of military, chivalrous and noble nature, founded circa 1048 in Jerusalem. Kingdom of Jerusalem, by Gerard Tom, as the world's oldest and surviving order of chivalry. Headquartered in Palazzo Malta in Rome, it is widely considered a sovereign subject of international law. The Sovereign Military Order of Malta is the modern continuation of the medieval Order of St. John of Jerusalem founded in circa 1048. Tracing back to the Amalfitan Hospital Fraternitas Hospital area, founded circa 1050 in Jerusalem, Fatimid Caliphate, to provide care for sick and poor pilgrims to the Holy Land. After the conquest of Jerusalem in 1099 during the First Crusade, the members realized the need to become militarized to protect Christian interests and pilgrims against Muslim attacks and became chartered as a military order. The order was formally recognized as sovereign in the year 1113 by Pope Paschal II, known as the Knights Hospitaller. Following the loss of the Kingdom of Jerusalem to the Mamluk Sultanate, the order operated from Cyprus, Rhodes, Malta over which it was sovereign, and from Palazzo Malta in Rome from 1834 until present day. Although its sovereign territory of the island of Malta was lost due to the seizure by Napoleon Bonaparte, the order moved to Rome and as such survived. It retains its claims of sovereignty under international law, including permanent observer status at the United Nations, issuing its own international passports, currency and postal stamps with its former white or gold Maltese cross insignia. The order's military, three brigades, is stationed throughout Italy and is closely liaisoned with the Italian army. The Order venerates as patroness Blessed Virgin Mary under the title of Our Lady of Mount Philomos. Today, the Order has about 13,000 members, including knights and dames as well as auxiliary members, 80,000 permanent volunteers, and 20,000 medical personnel including doctors, nurses, auxiliaries and paramedics in more than 120 countries. The purpose is to assist the children, homeless, handicapped, elderly, refugeed, those with terminal illness and leprosy around the world without distinction of ethnicity or religion. In several countries, including France, Germany and Ireland, local associations of the order are important providers of medical emergency first aid services and training. Through its Worldwide Relief Corps, Maltese or International, the order aids victims of natural disasters, epidemics and armed conflicts. Name and insignia. The order has a large number of local priories and associations around the world, but there are also exist a number of organizations with similar sounding names that are unrelated, including numerous fraudulent orders seeking to capitalize on the name. In the ecclesiastical heraldry of the Roman Catholic Church, the Order of Malta is one of only two orders whose insignia may be displayed in a clerical coat of arms. The shield is surrounded with a silver rosary for professed knights, or for others, the ribbon of their rank. Members may also display the Maltese cross behind their shield instead of the ribbon. History In February 2013, the Order celebrated its 900th anniversary as a sovereignty entity by recognition on 15 February 1113 of the Papal Bull Pipe Postulatia Voluntatis, issued by Pope Paschal II. The celebration included a general audience given by Pope Benedict XVI and a Holy Mass celebrated by Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Tarsicio Batone at St. Peter's Basilica. Foundation The birth of the order dates back to around 1048. Merchants from the ancient Marine Republic of Amalfi obtained from the Caliph of Egypt the authorization to build a church convent and hospital in Jerusalem, to care for pilgrims of any religious faith or race. The Order of St. John of Jerusalem, the monastic community that ran the hospital for the pilgrims in the Holy Land, became independent under the guidance of its 
founder, the blessed Gerard, with the ball of 15 February 1113, Pope Pascal II approved the foundation of the hospital and placed it under the aegis of the Holy See, granting it the right to freely elect its superiors without interference from other secular or religious authorities. By virtue of the papal bull, the hospital became an order exempt from the control of the local church. All the knights were religious, bound by the three monastic vows of poverty, chastity and obedience. The constitution of the Kingdom of Jerusalem regarding the Crusades obliged the order to take on the military defense of the sick, the pilgrims, and the territories that the Crusaders had captured from the Muslims. The order thus added the task of defending the faith to that of its hospitaler mission. As time went on, the order adopted the white eight-pointed cross that is still its symbol today. The eight points represent the eight Beatitudes that Jesus referred to in his Sermon on the Mount. Cyprus when the last Christian stronghold in the Holy Land fell after the siege of Acre in 1291, the order settled first in Cyprus. Rhodes in 1310, led by Grand Master Fra Faulx de Villaret, it regrouped on the island of Rhodes. From there, defense of the Christian world required the organization of a naval force, so the order built a powerful fleet and sailed the eastern Mediterranean, fighting many famous battles for the sake of Christendom, including crusades in Syria and Egypt. In the early 14th century, the institutions of the order and the knights who came to Rhodes from every corner of Europe were grouped according to the languages they spoke. The initial seven such groups, Orlangs, Provence, Auvergne, France, Italy, Aragon, England, and Germany, became eight in 1492, when Castile and Portugal were separated from the Lang of Aragon. Each Lang included priories or grand priories, bailiwicks, and commanderies. The order was governed by its Grand Master and Council. From its beginning, independence from other nations granted by Pontifical Charter and the universally recognized right to maintain and deploy armed forces constituted grounds for the international sovereignty of the order, which minted its own coins and maintained diplomatic relations with other states. The senior positions of the order were given to representatives of different langs. Malta after six months of siege and fierce combat against the fleet and army of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. The knights were forced to surrender in 1523 and left Rhodes with military honours. The order remained without a territory of its own until 1530, when Grand Master Fra Philippe de Villiers de Lisle Adam took possession of the island of Malta, granted to the order by Emperor Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor and his mother Queen Joanna of Castile as monarchs of Sicily, with the approval of Pope Clement VII for which the order had to honor the conditions of the tribute of the Maltese falcon. Protestant Reformation The Reformation which split Western Europe into Protestant and Roman Catholic states affected the knights as well. In several countries, including England, Scotland and Sweden, the order was disestablished. In others, including the Netherlands and Germany, entire bailiwicks or commanderies experienced religious conversions. The Johanniter orders claim to be the modern Protestant continuations of these converted divisions in Germany, the Netherlands, Sweden, and other countries, including the United States and South Africa. It was established that the order should remain neutral in any war between Christian nations. Colonies in the Caribbean from 1651 to 1665 The Order of St. John ruled four islands in the Caribbean. On 21 May 1651, it acquired the islands of St. Bartholomew, St. Christopher, St. Croix and St. Martin. These were purchased from the French Compagnie des Isles de l'Amérique which had just been dissolved. In 1665 the four islands were sold to the French West India Company. Great Siege of Malta In 1565 the knights, led by Grand Master Fra Jean de Vallette, defended the island for more than three months during the Great Siege by the Turks. 
Battle of Lepanto the fleet of the Order contributed to the ultimate destruction of the Ottoman naval power in the Battle of Lepanto in 1571, led by Don Juan of Austria, half-brother of King Philip II of Spain. Exiled 200 years later, in 1798, the Order surrendered the Maltese islands to the French First Republic. The knights were expelled from Malta. The Treaty of Amiens obliged the United Kingdom to evacuate Malta which was to be restored to a recreated Order of St. John, whose sovereignty was to be guaranteed by all of the major European powers, to be determined at the final peace. However, this was not to be because objections to the treaty quickly grew in the UK. Bonaparte's rejection of a British offer involving a 10-year lease of Malta prompted the reactivation of the British blockade of the French coast. Britain declared war on France on 18 May. The 1802 treaty was never implemented. The UK gave its official reasons for resuming hostilities as France's imperialist policies in the West Indies, Italy and Switzerland. Rome after having temporarily resided in Messina, Catania, and Ferrara. In 1834 the precursor of the sovereign military order of Malta settled definitively in Rome, where it owns, with extraterritorial status, the Magistral Palace in Via Condotti 68 and the Magistral Villa on the Aventine Hill. The original hospitaller mission became the main activity of the order, growing ever stronger during the last century most especially because of the contribution of the activities carried out by the Grand Priories and National Associations in so many countries around the world. Large-scale hospitaller and charitable activities were carried out during World Wars I and II under Grand Master Fra Ludovico Chigi Albani della Revere, under the Grand Masters Fra Angelo de Modana di Coloni and Fra Andrew Berti, the projects expanded. Return to Malta Two bilateral treaties have been concluded with the government of the Maltese state. The first treaty is dated 21 June 1991 and is now no longer in force. The second treaty was signed on 5 December 1998, but ratified on 1 November 2001. This agreement grants the order the use with limited extraterritoriality of the upper portion of Fort St. Angelo in the city of Bergu. Its stated purpose is to give the order the opportunity to be better enabled to carry out its humanitarian activities as Knights Hospitalis from St. Angelo, as well as to better define the legal status of St. Angelo subject to the sovereignty of Malta over it. The agreement has a duration of 99 years, but the document allows the Maltese government to terminate it at any time after 50 years. Under the terms of the agreement, the flag of Malta is to be flown together with the flag of the order in a prominent position over St. Angelo. No asylum may be granted by the order and generally the Maltese courts have full jurisdiction and Maltese law shall apply. A number of immunities and privileges are mentioned in the second bilateral treaty. No such immunities were contemplated by the first treaty. Organization Governance The proceedings of the order are governed by its constitutional charter and the order's code. It is divided internationally into six territorial grand priories, six sub-priories and 47 national associations. The supreme head of the order is the Grand Master, who is elected for life by the Council, complete of state holds the precedence of a cardinal of the church since 1630 and received the rank of Reichs first in 1607. Fra Matthew Festing was elected by the council as 79th Grand Master on the 11th of March 2008, succeeding Fra Andrew Berti, who was Grand Master until his death on the 7th of February 2008. Electors in the council include the members of the Sovereign Council, other office holders and representatives of the members of the order. The Grand Master is aided by the Sovereign Council, which is elected by the Chapter General, the legislative body of the order. The Chapter General meets every five years. At each meeting, all seats of the Sovereign Council are up for election. The Sovereign Council includes six members and four high officers.
the Grand Commander, the Grand Chancellor, the Grand Hospitaller and the Receiver of the Common Treasure. The Grand Commander is the Chief Religious Officer of the Order and serves as Interim Lieutenant during a vacancy in the Office of Grand Master. The Grand Chancellor, whose office includes those of the Ministry of the Interior and Ministry of Foreign Affairs, is the head of the executive branch. He is responsible for the diplomatic missions of the order and relations with the national associations. The Grand Hospitaller's responsibilities include the offices of Minister for Humanitarian Action and Minister for International Cooperation. He coordinates the order's humanitarian and charitable activities. Finally, the receiver of the common treasure is the Minister of Finance and Budget. He directs the administration of the finances and property of the order. Patrons of the order since 1961 The patron, who is always a cardinal, promotes the spiritual interests of the order and its members, and its relations with the Holy See. Paolo Gioba, Giacomo Vilada, Paul Pierre Philippe, O.P., Sebastiano Baggio, Pio Laghi. Paolo Sardi, Raymond Leo Burke. Membership Membership in the order is divided into three classes and subdivided into several categories, i.e., first class, containing only one category, knights of justice or profess knights, and the profess conventual chaplains, who take religious vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience and form what amounts to a religious order. There are also three surviving enclosed monasteries of nuns of the order, two in Spain and one in Malta, whose members hold the same rank in the order as chaplains. Second class, knight and dames of obedience. Similarly restricted until recently, these knights and dames make a promise, rather than a vow, of obedience. This class is subdivided into three categories, namely that of knight and dames of honor and devotion and obedience, knight and dames of grace and devotion and obedience, and knight and dames of magistral grace and obedience. Third class, which is subdivided into six categories, knights and dames of honor and devotion, conventual chaplains ad honum, knights and dames of grace and devotion, magistral chaplains. Knights and Dames of Magistral Grace, and Donnets of Devotion. All categories of this class are made up of members who take no vows and who had to show a decreasingly extensive history of nobility. Within each class and category of knights are ranks ranging from Bailiff Grand Cross through Knight Grand Cross a knight, thus one could be a knight of grace and devotion, or a bailiff grand cross of justice. The final rank of denat is offered to some who join the order in the class of justice but who are not knights. Bishops and priests are generally honorary members, or knights, of the Order of Malta. However, there are some priests who are full members of the order, and this is usually because they were conferred knighthood prior to ordination. The priests of the Order of Malta are ranked as honorary canons, as in the Order of the Holy Sepulchre, and they are entitled to wear the black mosita with purple piping and purple fascia. Prior to the 1990s, all officers of the Order had to be of noble birth, as they were all knights of justice or of obedience. However, Knights of Magistral Grace now may make the promise of obedience and, at the discretion of the Grand Master and Sovereign Council, may enter the novitiate to become professed Knights of Justice. Worldwide, there are over 13,000 Knights and Dames, a small minority of whom are professed religious. Membership of the Order is by invitation only and solicitations are not entertained. The Order's finances are audited by a board of auditors, which includes a president and four councillors, all elected by the Chapter General. The Order's judicial powers are exercised by a group of magistral courts, whose judges are appointed by the Grand Master and Sovereign Council.